When facing trials and hardships of any sort, there is only one place to go. 2 Peter 2.9 The Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on Judgment Day. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we find out in 1 Corinthians 13.4, love suffers long or endures. As God's children made in his image, Genesis 1.27, 1 John 4.8 tells us God is love. Therefore, we are love as well. As such, we're expected to endure hardships, persecutions, and sufferings from this world and its disciples because we run across the grain from them. These people, these ungodly people, we are told in Psalm 49, 12, despite their wealth will not endure or last. They're like animals that perish. Verse 13, this is the fate of those who trust in themselves. Verse 4, they're like sheep destined to die. As believers in Christ, we can expect, according to 1 Corinthians 10, 13, when we are tempted, God will provide a way out so that we may endure the temptation. Paul testifies in 2 Corinthians 1, 8, we were under great pressure, far beyond anything that we could endure, to the point that we were we didn't we hated the thought of living. We felt we received a death sentence. Verse 9, this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but God who raises the dead. Verse 10, he has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On this we set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. 1 Peter 2.20 tells us if we suffer for doing good and endure it, this is commendable before God. We have this promise of God to hold on to in Revelation 3.10. Since you kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you safe from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. 2 Timothy 1.7 tells us God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and calm, well-balanced discipline and self-control. Verse 8, we are to be ready to take our share of suffering for the gospel and the power of God, not on our own strength. 2 Timothy 2, 1, we are to be strong in the grace found only in Christ Jesus. Verse 3, we are to take our share of hardships and suffering, sufferings as good soldiers of Christ Jesus. Verse 10, enduring everything for the sake of God's chosen ones, so that we may obtain salvation, they may obtain salvation in Christ Jesus through eternal glory, or with eternal glory. This one thing is for sure, 2 Timothy 3.12, all who delight in holiness and are determined to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will meet with persecution. Our response, 2 Timothy 4.5, be calm, cool, and steady, ready to suffer unflinchingly every hardship known, every hardship, knowing this in verse 18, the Lord will certainly deliver and draw us to himself from every assault from evil. Romans 8, 35-39 No hardship or persecution is enough to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Word of encouragement, Jesus teaches us in Mark four sixteen in the parable of the sowers, those who don't endure trouble and persecution will, will be like when seed was sown on rocky places. We will hear God's word, receive it with joy, verse 17, but have no root so that they may endure only for a short time. When trouble hits for the word's sake, they will quickly fall away. Action point, get rooted in God's word. So Ephesians 3.17 can be true, that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith so that you can be rooted and grounded in love. Have a great day.